hi guys how are you this is another video uh, on how to make a clicking interpolation map you know before that we made a video on this purpose but in this one I'll show you some tips with a little bit more details <clears throat> of course using uh, argmap 10 software you know before we start uh, the interpolation process or uh, clicking interpolation process you know including a tons of options inside it so we just concentrate on um, most important uh, variables inside it but for the others uh, please if you have any questions on it uh, please let me know to maybe we, um, make a video maybe I can answer you um, about the other variables inside it because um, I said before it includes a lot of options so uh, first of all uh, I have a file a shape file point is uh, it including uh, 40 soil samples um, and for starting we should um, call or bring a geostatistical analyze toolbar so we click on this space right click and this is a geostatistical analyze toolbar or we go to customize and toolbars and then select geostatistical analyzed is the same thing so this is the geostatistical analyze toolbar you know we just click on it and we have uh, some options uh, we choose geostatistical wizard so this is the geostatistical wizard window um, you know we have some methods uh, three main methods uh, deterministic methods and geostatistical methods and also interpolation methods or interpolation with barriers method so we just click on creaking slash or creaking and co-creaking uh, of course under geostatistical uh, methods you know um, beside it we have input data and we have data set one two three four and in data set one we have uh, or in each data set we have a uh, source data set and data field in source data set uh, we have to select sorry I have to select uh, it's already uh, selected uh, the file which include the field which we want to make interpolation for it okay so this is my file its points of course it's uh, with uh, table which is uh, have a lot of uh, sorry I close that uh, a lot of fields which uh, I can make um, interpolation surface for each one of these fields so I click on clicking and for source data set I choose the point share file and for data field I should choose any field which I want to make a surface or a interpolation for it for example I choose OM it's organic matter and I click on next if you notice in the geostatistical wizard window we have just statistical wizard and creaking step two of five so this is creaking and if we click on back and in data set two uh, we select same file because you know it includes a lot of uh, fields and we choose a different fields for example ph I click on next so you notice that the title uh, changed it to co-creaking so co-creaking if you choose one data set uh, it will uh, become uh, creaking and if you choose uh, more than one uh, it will be a co-creaking interpolation map okay so this about creaking and co-creaking so uh, co-creaking is co-recognizing a clicking interpolation uh, when you choose more than uh, one data set to make interpolation for uh, them so I choose none for data set 2 because I just want 
uh, made a clicking dot creation map. I click on next. You know, in clicking type, you have um, some types. By default, it's uh, on ordinary, and output is on prediction. I just click on next, and also I can uh, make some changes on the transformation tab and order of train removal. But I now click on next and also you know we have a lot of uh, variables inside it i told you before if you have any uh, questions any uh, you know notice uh, on it please let me know okay this is step uh, four or five in of course in creaking and i think uh, the step four is one of the most important steps in the creaking or in the interpolation map generally you know, because in, uh, it's including some uh, variables when I uh, changing it, uh, the entire map or the entire interpolation uh, will be changed. And I think these um, variables are very important. For example, I have uh, right here sector type. You know, um, if I choose or uh, select um, sector, uh, one sector, because I have four options, one sector, it um, you know you see this circle it take samples or take neighbors to draw this figure to draw this surface just uh, those samples which have uh, weight and inside are uh, located inside this circle of course I can change this circle uh, in anywhere uh, of my um, study area and if I choose four sectors it takes samples or take neighbors from um, four direction one two three four okay and if you notice in one sector I have five neighbors and those are um, uh, their weights and if I changing it to four sectors uh, I will have nine neighbors nine neighbors one two three four five six seven eight nine so if I changing it to four sectors with uh, 45 degree offset and it will take neighbors from four direction also and um, with different of course a four direction and um, four directions and uh, my neighbors uh, will become Ten neighbors and also I can change this or change the location of the circle to maximize my uh, neighbors okay and finally it's eight sectors it will take neighbors from eight direction okay and this is I prefer this one because uh, the number of neighbors uh, maximized to um, for example, I have right here 16 neighbors, uh, so it takes 16 neighbors from those directions uh, to draw this interpolation or to draw this uh, surface. Okay, so sector type is one of the most important, um, one of the most important um, options when I uh, want to draw uh, interpolation map in general, and also. Uh, maybe uh, it's different from study to study and uh, when you have uh, some uh, differences in uh, distribution of the samples of course and another important thing I I think it's um, maximum neighbors so maximum neighbor uh, by default is five for my uh, file because I have 40 uh, samples so five is the maximum neighbors taken from each sector okay so it will not take a more than five uh, neighbors or five samples uh, for each sector okay so maximum neighbors is five but if i have a file with um, maybe 100 and or 1000 2000 uh, you know 5 and 25 um, are uh, very low 
so I uh, should change it to maybe uh, if I have 1000 uh, points uh, 1000 samples I should uh, take or changing this uh, number to at least 100 okay if I have a good distribution of the samples and minimum neighbor is minimum uh, neighbors uh, which uh, should uh, taken from each sector just like the maximum neighbor and I prefer to changing it um, how much uh, samples do you have uh, it's uh, not uh, important but uh, I prefer to changing this option sorry to change this uh, number or this value always to one because it's the minimum uh, samples or the minimum uh, neighbors taken from each um, sector so I prefer to change the minimum neighbor to one and the maximum neighbor to some um, number of course related to your samples and related to your um, the distribution of your sample uh, or of your points so I'll click on next okay I have one five and I choose eight sectors next you know this is a uh, source ID this is uh, included yes yes and I have measured right here and predicted you know uh, if you notice I have measured 2.50 and predicted 2.1 uh, so it's some kind close to each other and um, measured predicted and I have some kind good result and I have this um, uh, graph for predicted I have error standard error and maybe you can change this um, data for your research and I have of course samples 40 of 40 and mean root mean square and some other uh, data so I click on finish to finish my process this is the final report on it and I click of course I can saving it click on OK so this is my creaking interpolation map okay and those are my samples um, this is all about creaking interpolation map uh, and I told you before it including uh, a lot of variables a lot of options maybe I can't explaining each of them um, so if you have any questions on any of these variables please uh, uh, let me know and I told you before maybe I can um, maybe I can make a video on your questions or um, answering you uh, in any uh, way so thank you for your time and thank you for your watching and I hope this uh, video uh, be useful enough and thank you again.